What's up everybody, it's Dave here from Profitable.Tools. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down some long form copy from an unusual source, and that is an advertisement for a John Mayer record. Now, typically on this channel, I review software tools, but you know what? Copywriting is one of the best tools that you can have to grow revenue for your business. It doesn't matter if you're a multinational brand like John Mayer, or you have a small e-commerce shop, you should be using long form copy and I hope to expose why in this video. So let's get into it. This is a kind of a weird scenario. Here is John Mayer's Facebook page. You can see that he actually put this in a print magazine or his record label did. Uh, this looks like People Magazine. You can kind of see the logo over here, but uh, it is solid long form copy. And you know what, it's, it's pretty well done. So I wanna break down how we approach this and then maybe go into some of the reasons why they chose long form copy to have an advertisement for this record. All right, so I'm gonna go back an image here where we've just got the, the copy zoomed in and let's go ahead and just check this out. So I'll tell you right out of the gates, it's just using the standard ADA framework. We've seen that in all of the GPT-3 videos that I've been releasing lately. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I'll link to that playlist down below. You can learn about some software tools that will actually help you write this kind of copy, at least give you some starting points. All right, so we've got a headline here that is the first part of the ADA framework. Attention, if you're flipping through a magazine and you see this, this is huge type, right? It's about a third of the page. It's time to love an album again. This does several things. First of all, it really targets who his market is. One, it's in a print magazine. So, you know, people reading print magazines are probably gonna skew a little bit older. And two, love an album again. Who is gonna love an album again? Again, it's that older demographic people who you know grew up listening to actual records, not even maybe CDs, maybe cassettes, but they listen to the entire thing from front to back. That is a different approach from what most people, how they consume their music today, right? Everything is available to us on streaming platforms. It's very easy to skip between your favorite songs and kind of disregard the entire collection of music. So. John very clearly or his marketing team wants people to listen to this record from front to back. And so that is how they're branding it. I think that is a really good attention getting headline. It's not going to get everyone's attention, but it will get the ideal customer's attention. And that is the point. All right. The next section of the ADA framework is I for interest. So let's check out how they grab our interest here. It says, when was the last time a record became one of your all time favorites? It's probably been a while. Hey, growing up happens. You can't keep up with everything new that comes your way. That's why you still listen to those trusty old classics. All right, they've got my interest here. They're not pitching me something right off the bat. They're not talking to me about how great John Mayer is, how amazing his guitar playing is, how insightful his lyrics are. No, they're not talking about the product itself. They're relating to me and gathering my interest. That is a really critical thing. Something that people have a hard time doing these days where they just wanna put up a spec sheet, a bullet point. It doesn't matter what product it is. You can think about you know, even just Amazon listings. You just get the bullet points of the main features and people make their decision there. So I like this approach. It's going against the grain. It's not to say the old way or the you know, current way is bad and the old way is better. This is just different, so it's grabbing my attention. All right, the next section starts down here, and this is where the desire section starts. It kind of ends the interest and starts to blend into desire. So here it talks about John Mayer for the first time. We are in the third section of the copywriting, and it's finally mentioning John Mayer, other than, of course, the huge image right here, which obviously, if you're familiar with John Mayer, that'll stop you in your tracks as well. So that's a bit of an attention getter. All right, so here's what the second paragraph says. John Mayer kept listening to them too, too as in referring to the old trusty classics, until one day he had an idea. Why not make a record that feels like those unforgettable albums we grew up loving? It's not easy to do, and you'd basically have to be John Mayer to pull it off, but he is, and he did. All right, so a little bit of tongue-in-cheek humor there. Uh, you know, it makes me think of kind of like Ryan Reynolds' uh, commercials that he posts on YouTube. Uh, you know, talking about how great he is and then actually living up to it. So this is really, really great copy, in my opinion, because if you like John Mayer, you're already kind of intrigued, like, oh, OK, I haven't heard anything from him in a few years. It sounds like he's been hard at work on something. Uh, and it's something that is going to connect with my past, even though it's brand new. Nostalgia is huge right now. Everybody kind of wants to go back to a time before the pandemic when we had, you know, social interaction and community and music was really a part of that. If you think back to, you know, the 80s and 90s for me when I was growing up, uh, that was a huge communal aspect is 
you know, what records are you listening to? That was something people talked about. All right, so moving on to the next paragraph, it says the result is Sob Rock, which is the name of his new album, a collection of instantly catchy and satisfying tunes played by world-class musicians and painstakingly produced to make every note count, just like they used to. All right, so right here, he's going into the production or the copywriter, I should say, is going into the actual creation of the product. It is proven that if you talk about how your product is made, it will become more valuable to your potential customer. You can talk about the process you go through to brew beer, the process you go through to check the quality of your engine, whatever it is. If you talk about that process, even if it's the same as everyone else uses, it's going to seem more valuable to the people that are reading your copy. So that is really cool that they included that here. It's definitely blending into that desire part of the copy where we've moved away from just the interest. And now we're talking about, you know, why you should want this, all of the detail that went, went into the creation of the album. Now, finally, we've got a call to action down here. So it says, whether you're mending a broken heart or hitting the open road, make John Mayer's new album the soundtrack to a new set of glory years, the ones that lay ahead. That is a seriously powerful call to action. If you are going through a broken heart or you just have good memories of, say, listening to John Mayer 20 years ago, you might read that and feel like, yes, that is a reason to check this out again, because I remember, you know, going on road trips, listening to John Mayer's first record that was hugely impactful to me. Man, I want to have that feeling again. Uh, it's not just you know, go buy this, right? Of course, it does end with available on Columbia Tapes and Records or Records and Tapes, uh, but it, it was more than that, right? The call to action actually has emotion to it. And that is what we want to strive for with our own copy is making an emotional connection to people, not just giving them the facts and figures and then letting them make their own decision. We want to appeal to their psychology and influence them that this is the right decision for them. So how's this working out for John Mayer? Well, obviously this is only one ad, but he is number seven currently on the top albums inside of Apple Music. There's been other promotions. He's been on The Tonight Show. There was an interview on Apple Music. So certainly this is not the only form of promotion, but it is interesting to note that he's getting some decent results out of this latest round of marketing efforts. What I find so interesting about these marketing efforts is he's basically doubling down on the nostalgia aspect. He's going against the grain, not trying to be new, not trying to be hip, not trying to be current, instead just appealing to what it is that his audience likes. And that is exactly what you should be doing in 2021. So what is his audience thinking? Let's check out some of the comments. So we got Jane here, a top fan, says, love this CD, cannot wait to hear it live. Kim, uh, also a top fan, says, we do love it. Obviously, responding to the headline here, the attention getting headline, uh, it's time to love again. Uh, we do love it. So that's showing that the advertising is working. It stopped her, made her reply to it on social media. Obviously, that's going to help get more attention for the album, the more engagement you can get. Even if you're John Mayer, you still need engagement. Uh, there was another one down here I wanted to point out from G, uh, G. Wee Donkers said that this could have been a guitar player magazine ad, brilliant. Uh, so just calling out how good the advertising is here. I like that. And another one here, I do love it from Natalia, again, responding to that headline. So that actually works. When you uh, put call to actions and attention getting headlines, it will work. People will stop what they're doing and actually engage with your content. So that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, click the notification bell. If you wanna engage with me, you can connect over on Facebook. I'll put the links down below. I do have a weekly newsletter where I send out information about things that are going on in the marketing world, my favorite tools, my favorite deals. Make sure you subscribe to that. The link will be in the description as well. It's gonna do it for this video. What do you think of this marketing approach? Do you have any ideas on how you could use a long form copy like this in your own business? I'd love to hear about it. Leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.